there are two ways for you to start using JSON Page Builder. Uh, the first way is to go to the components and then you locate the JSON Page Builder component and then you click on new. If you want to work on a module, you do the same. Uh, if you want to work on a K2 component, you do the same thing here. So let's go back to the articles. Now, the way that I normally do with this is that instead of having to go to components and JSON Page Builder, I just go to the article that I want to edit. So let's say I want to edit this getting started here. Once you click on it, you notice that you have a tab that says Page Builder. And you scroll to the bottom as well, you notice that you have something that says JS Uniform and JS Easy Slider. So these are the other components and the image show, the other components that will install. And we're going to take a look later on how we can incorporate that. Uh, but for now, let's click on the Page Builder. This is going to activate it. And before we get started, I want to give you a quick overview of you know how this works. So what you have here is showing you that this particular element is, is a text. And once you put your mouse over it, you can click to edit it, you can click to copy, or you can click to, you know, to delete it. And when you see here, it says add element, this is going to pull up a list of the elements, which we're going to take a look at in just a second. And on the right side here, you can also delete this row. So if you want to add an additional column, you click and it's going to add additional column. Now this comes in handy if you want to have more than one columns on your page and you want to style it differently and to delete you just click on the trash can and it's going to delete that. So at the bottom here you have the row. You know in the upcoming lesson we'll start creating uh, custom pages. I'm going to show you how to utilize this. But if you want to create let's say a layout that looks like this with you know two columns here with a smaller column on the left and a larger column on the right then you can use this layout and then you have different layouts options that you can choose from here. So I'm just going to click on this one so that you can see I'm going to click on that and it's going to automatically just add three more you know at the bottom. So if I don't need this entire you know row here, I can just delete it and it's going to delete that. So let's go ahead and click on the element. When you come to the add element section, you notice there are about 30 different elements that you can incorporate on your website. You know, this is really, really cool because if you want to add a button bar, a carousal, a divider, whatever it is that you want to add on your page, you can just do that, you know, with just a simple click. So let's take a look first at the accordion. Okay, so when you click with the accordion here, on the right side you have the preview. So you can preview to see what it looks like before you publish it, before you, you know, put it on the front end. So the the title, the element title, this is what this particular element is going to be called. So let's say that you want to edit this from saying accordion item one. You just click on it and it's going to say accordion item one. You can change that to you know whatever you want it to be. Business marketing. And then you can put in your content here, just like Microsoft Word and you know Word document. And then when you come here, you see this icon. You can utilize the the font awesome or the icon moon. You can incorporate an icon next to uh, to the accordion. So I'm just gonna go through here and I'm just gonna click on this music, this music icon. Okay. So when I'm done, I click on save. And you see in real time here, it, it updates that for you with the icon next to it. And let's do the same thing for accordion two. And I'm just going to call this email marketing. You can put whatever, whatever title that you want. And I'm going to click on this email. Also, you have the, the icon moon here. When you click on that, it gives you, you know, of course, other options. Click on email and click on save. So now you see this email icon is right next to it. And I can just, you know, just toggle back and forth with different ones. Okay, the next thing that you're going to notice here is that you have style, styling. So when you click on the styling, this allows you to have more control over the margin. So if you want to add a margin up or a margin down, then you can do that. Now, the reason why you may want to add a margin sometimes because when you have multiple items on the page and they're too close together, uh, then this can be able to do that can able to you know add a little bit more space for those items. So right now you may not see that much difference because I don't have any additional items incorporated with this one. It's just this. So I'm just gonna leave that as you know just delete it. It's gonna leave that as blank. And then the number of active accordion. You know right now uh this one is the the second one is active. So what this does is 
when people come on the page, what is the first item on the accordion list that you want them to see? So if I go to two, you notice that it shows the email marketing. Let me switch it back to go to one and it's going to open it. So if you have a list of different items, let's say you have 10 or whatever number that is, when you, you have to choose your, which one you want to be active, that is going to be the one that has the that's open that's opened up when people come to this. And then you have a lot multiple openings. If you set to yes, you can be able to allow multiple openings. But I'm just gonna set this, uh, just leave it at no. And then you can set also the filters for it. And then here you have the appearing animation. So let's click down here. What's gonna happen is that when you choose the animation here, it's going to slide from the top, the right, the bottom, or the left. So let's see what that looks like. So that's an effect you add when someone first visit a page it's going to slide from the top to the bottom. And if you want to slide from the right, and you can choose your the animation speed. You want it to be slow, fast, or medium. So if you choose fast, it comes very fast. If you choose slow, then it takes a little more time. You choose medium, then of course it comes in at a medium pace. So this is something that's, that's you know, that's really great to have. And then let's go back here over to the content. So you can add item. So if you wanted to add additional items here, you can add some more. So now we have three tabs or three accordion. And then you can also convert this into a carousal or into a list or a tab. So let's say you don't you wanted to change this into something else. You can click a tab and this is going to convert that into a tab. You want to convert it into a carousal. It converts it into a carousal. You want to convert it into a list and it, it does that for you. And with each item, you can also customize the styling for this. So with the, you know, with the list, you can change the, the head and fonts. And we're going to go over that styling options when we get to each one of these. So once you're done and you're satisfied, let's convert this back to accordion. So once you're done and you're satisfied with this, you click on save. So now when you take a look at this page, let's save this page here. And we're going to take a look at it on the front end. And you notice that you have the accordion on it. So that's the accordion that we created. So just by, you know, those simple changes, you've added a new, you know, new spice to your boring page.